To find the oxidation numbers for Cu2O, that's copper one oxide, we can use these rules here. So as we look at this, one of the first rules is that in a neutral compound, in a neutral compound, it won't have a plus or a minus up here. It'll just be like Cu2O. This is a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers add up to zero. So that's going to be important. We don't see copper in our rules. Copper is a transition metal. It can have different oxidation states. But we do see that oxygen here, oxygen is going to be minus 2, except when it's bonded to fluorine or in peroxides. So we know that the oxygen is minus 2. In order for all these things to add up to 0, we would have to have a plus 1. 2 times plus 1, that gives us plus 2. Plus 2, minus 2, that adds up to 0. So for Cu2O, to find the oxidation numbers, we found oxygen, which is always minus 2 with a few exceptions. And then based on that, we figured out what the copper would have to be. So each copper here has a plus 1 oxidation number. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.